So when it comes to you having perfect recall with your dogs, there's loads of really fun games that we can do to improve recall. But recall will never truly improve without this fundamental fact, without this foundation to build on. And that foundation is the game of you equals awesome. And you have to get into this as a habit. You need to be able to, anytime you call your dog, puppy, good girl, come up. Anytime your dogs come to you, you equal awesome. And this is a game that I play with my dogs every single day. We're in my training paddock, but it doesn't matter whether you're in a training paddock, in a living room, or in your back garden. The principle remains the same. You need to get into the habit of every time your dog comes back to you, something good happens. So they understand that this personal space always equals awesome. You equal awesome. So you get this desired outcome that being with you is always a positive experience. Sully. And every time he comes to me, and even though I've called Sully, puppies doing the same thing, whenever they come into my space, into my bubble, I'm rewarding them. It can be physical praise like this can be verbal praise with good boy good girl could be food it could be access to a toy if it was Sully I could throw him a tennis ball every time he comes into me but I'm building up that concept and making it a game that I play with my dogs every single day that I always equal awesome because we're going to cash in on that game to be able to have huge amounts of success with recall when we do move on to some more of the advanced topics now the U equals awesome game is designed to achieve one thing, it's to make coming back to you highly motivating. But when it comes to recall, you have to understand that our dogs are motivated by many other things, and we call those things competing motivators. And if you don't understand this little bit of theory about competing motivators, you'll never be able to have the perfect recall you're looking for. And the simplest way to understand competing motivators is to view it as a scale. You are on one side of the scale and everything else your dog is interested in is on the other side. Whichever thing your dog is motivated by more is the thing that they will run towards. So our job when teaching recall is making yourself as motivating as possible and where possible to decrease the motivation of everything else. Whether that's other dogs, squirrels, bikes or people so that we tip the scales of motivation in our favor every single time. Now, I completely understand that having perfect recall is a dream of most dog owners, and it can feel incredibly overwhelming for you to be able to achieve perfect recall, especially when we're talking about the theory of things like competing motivators. I understand you might want to know more about those recall games that I mentioned earlier that elevate your recall to incredible levels. And that is why I created my completely free course called my Rapid Recall Course. And we go into topics like competing motivators in the level of detail that we need to for you to truly grasp them. But it also includes a bunch of my recall games completely free of charge. So there'll be a link to that course down in the description box below. You can go check it out right away and take what you've learned in this video to a deeper level of understanding so that you can achieve perfect recall yourself. Now, not only are the You Equal Awesome games great for increasing your motivation levels to your dog, but a quick tip that I want to share with you in this video is that there's a cheat code to boosting your motivation levels. And that's to tap into your dog's DNA and only allow them access off the back of a recall. Now, let me give you an example. My working line Labrador Sully loves a tennis ball more than anything else in life and that is baked into his DNA through his love of retrieving. So when I was building my motivation level, I would only ever throw him a tennis ball when he completed a successful recall rep. And by the time we'd done this just a few times, he was conditioned to know that every now and again, coming back to me when called gave him his favourite thing in the world. And he didn't get that thing for anything else. And that was like strapping a rocket to my motivation levels. 
and now when he hears my recall, he gets to me as quickly as possible to see if it means that he'll get the chance to fetch his tennis ball. Now, all dogs are motivated by tons of different things, and I've got loads of different games that tap into our dog's DNA for recall, and some of them are completely free in my rapid recall course. So go and check it out, no strings attached, and I'll see you there.